What is the crack folks and welcome to day 23 of our Battletech Savage Box Advent Calendar. If you've been following along since the first of the month, fair play to you folks, fair play to you, we're nearly there. We have another one after today and then a special video on the 25th. If however you've missed all the previous videos, Tim the old Thunderbolt here is the guardian of the playlist and above him now will be a link. You can go check that out if you want to watch from the very start all the way through. If however you just want to have a look, a sneak peek look at the old mechs that we've gotten so far, the images popping up now are all of the mechs. We've gotten Clan, we've gotten Inner Sphere, we've gotten Lights, Heavies and Assault for both sides. But we have surprisingly managed to not get any comps there. We've gotten some absolute cracker mechs as well. Some absolute choice pieces there. Some really good ones. Massacaries, Atlases, Valkyries. Ah, oh, a bit of everything. Marauder Hills, you know. It's a nice mixed bag. But without any further ado, what we're going to do is take today's Savage Box, which hopefully is something decent, down onto the table and crack it over. So here we are, folks. Christmas Eve's Eve's <laughs> uh, Savage Box, day 23. We're going to crack it open and see what we have. Like I said in previous videos, the only thing we haven't really touched on much at all is uh, the comps there, uh, box sets. We haven't got any of them. But today, oh, very nice. We've gotten ourselves another assault mech. We've gotten ourselves a Doishi or a Direwolf. These were pretty hard to come by last year until the very end. We got very lucky. And it seems to be the same this year. We've managed to get ourselves a Direwolf. So what we'll do is we'll throw the Direwolf onto the turntable table there and we'll go through some stats. The Direwolf, or the Dicey, depending on your inner sphere or clan or disposition, is a 100 ton clan omni mech, an assault mech. Battle value of the variant we're going to be looking at, which is the Prime, is 2712. It has a walk profile of 350, so walk 3, run 5, and 0 on the jump. Its weapons configuration is the following for the primary two EOR large lasers in the right arm. Two medium pulse lasers in the right arm, an Ultra AC5 in the right arm, ammo for the Ultra AC5 in the right arm, three double heat sinks in its right torso. It has two ER large lasers in the left arm, two medium pulse lasers in the left arm, an Ultra AC5 in the left arm, and ammo for the Ultra AC5 in the left arm. It has an LRM10 in the left torso, ammo for the LRM in the left torso, and three more double heat sinks in the left torso. And then it has another double heatsink in the center torso. Looking at the pilot cards, first pilot we have is Grace, a 3 4 pilot, a mech warrior from Clan Wolf, Unit Alpha Galaxy. Special pilot abilities cost 3, special pilot ability is combat intuition. On the opposite side of the pilot card, there is Zorus, a 2 1 pilot, a star commander of Clan Smoke Jaguar, Unit Delta Galaxy. Special pilot abilities cost 4. Special pilot ability is stand aside and weapon specialist EOR large laser. Moving on to the Alpha Strike card, we're looking at the Doishi or Dire Wolf Prime. Cost is 55. Type is Battle Mech. Size is 4. TMM is 1. Move is 6 inches and roll is Juggernaut. Damage out to short range is 6, damage out to medium range is 6, and damage out to long range is 4. It has an overheat value of 3. Its armor is 10, and its structure is 5. Its specials are Case, Omni, and OVL. There we are, folks. We got ourselves a Daishi, an absolute beast of a mech. Another assault mech for the clanners. The clanners have done really well on the old assault mechs. I think we've gotten, like, what, two, three? We've gotten a few. There's a few salt mechs knocking around. We've gotten a nice mixed bag as well, so we'll be able to build a nice fire support there. The amount of weapons in this mech is just crazy. It really is. It's going to be expensive on the old BV. It's a bit slow, but I like the miniature. It looks cool. It does look really cool. The new sculpts are really nice, and it's it's got a, an awesome amount of firepower. Probably more than an awesome, in fairness. If you've been liking the videos, folks, hit the like button. It helps with the algorithm to spread that Battletech love on the interwebs. If you want to catch all the videos and don't want to miss out, hit the subscribe button as well. Like I said, we've still got a couple of videos left and we have a special one on the 25th. If you want to support the channel, there's a link in the description below for our store where we ship to Ireland. You can get all of your Battletech goodness there. And I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll catch you again tomorrow and happy holidays, folks. Take it easy.